come, we have an exclusive performance from Sir Cliff Richard and the <laughs> cheekiest... <laughs> and her. And the cheekiest sports stars on the box, Phil Tufnell and Matt Dawson here. But now to the revelations made by Prince William in a new TV documentary about his desire to serve on the front line. Did you always want to join the military? Yeah, I did, yeah. I mean, I, to be honest, my, my heart was in the army. Um, and, uh, you know, I, that's why I first joined them and I did yeah, everything as, as such could be done. Um, it's just a pity I couldn't go to Afghanistan, which, you know, many people say, well, that's very understandable. There are some slightly valid arguments as to why not, but many of them were hyped up as to why you couldn't go. And I still have hope and, and, and faith and real determination to go out there. Prince William says his late mother Diana, Princess of Wales, encouraged both he and his brother Harry to remain in touch with reality. But should the future King of England be allowed to serve on the front line? A spokesman for Clarence House says that William would like to serve on the front line, but he's currently in a division of the RAF that doesn't deploy airmen to the front line and therefore he's not in a position to do so right now. But one day, should he be allowed to go? Here to discuss are Janet Street Porter, the Chief Executive of the British Forces Foundation, Mark Can and Gloria Hannaford. Now, Mark, your service took you to Belize, Mozambique, lots of other places like that, so not yeah. only do you do the job you do now, you are an experienced serviceman. Do you think the future King of England should be allowed to serve on the front line? I certainly think he should want to serve on the front line, um, and if the circumstances were right, yes, he should definitely be allowed to serve. It sends a very positive message. It sends a positive message, but it might be a very brief one if something happened to him. Yes, but I think, you know, he, he's actually doing this for very genuine reasons and wants to share the same level of risk as everybody else. I mean, you can't, you can't expect him to not want to do that. And I, I absolutely, first and foremost, think he's very, very genuine in his desire to want to do this. Janet, it's a, it is a, a laudable thing to want to do. Do you think he should go? It's a laudable thing to want to do, but if you're second in line... Uh, to the throne, I don't think it's something that should be pursued any further. I also feel really strongly that, uh, as a future King of England, he needs to completely be in touch with his generation and how they feel about growing up in Britain today. And at the moment, we have a tragedy brewing where a generation of 16 to 25 year olds, a huge proportion of which are undereducated, unemployed, and have see no prospect of work. And I personally feel, although the prince might want to go to Afghanistan, I think he owes it to this lost generation in Britain to focus his attention back at home. And we talk about morale, you know, I just let's be real about the morale, you know, the morale of this generation who are confined to living at home, have no choice about where to live, and are existing on very little money, and it is a time bomb. Yeah, but one of those, um, one of those avenues out of that existence is the armed forces. Well, I'm sorry to fight a war so far from home, which is so controversial. No, no, a career. A career option. But lots of people don't want to take that up. And I think, honestly, that if you're the King of England, you need to look at what's happening in this country and not focus on solving another country's problems halfway around the world. Gloria. Well, I actually think... I think that Prince Charles and the two princes are actually in touch. I like the way that Prince William this morning said on TV that his mother had particularly brought them up to be grounded, to try and be as ordinary as possible. And let's be absolutely honest, our young men and women are doing the most amazing job on the front line. Mm. They are. Mm. And I would imagine that Prince William, as a serving officer, um, would want to be seen as a leader, would want to be inspirational to young people, would want to be... Uh, to identify with all these young people who, let's face it, giving up their lives mm. in Afghanistan. But on the other hand, I sort of sit on the fence on this one because, you know, uh, Prince William's ultimate career is to be the king. Mm. And whereas he sees his career in the forces at the moment, of course, as Janet says, you have to keep sight of the fact that there are extra risks on the front line, clearly. But there's another, there's, a, there's, another, another risk. there's another pragmatic risk here, Mark, and that is that if he comes out to you, wonderful morale for the chaps, but also, in a way, it makes him an even greater target, and therefore the men who are serving with him, around him immediately, it makes them a greater target. So, in effect, while trying to fight for his country, he could be putting the men he's with at even greater risk. And he would never want to do that, but it all depends on the circumstances under which he deploys. Um, 
and actually with a helicopter force, I think that, that, that is one circumstance that would work. So I think it all depends on the circumstance and it all depends on the responsibility of the, the but, press. But honestly, with, um, all, with all the will in the world, when you say it depends on the circumstance, it'll cost. We're hearing today how the budget for our armed forces is being cut yes. and slashed and slashed. So you're telling me if the future King of England goes to Afghanistan, that's not going to cost a fortune in protection, a fortune which might be no, I, better I, spent elsewhere. No, I, dis I disagree with that, but what it will say... Well, it does cost say a fortune a very, very... already no. every time he goes to Africa and every time he's experiencing... On the other hand, Prince Harry went. Can we let Mark answer yeah. why yeah. it's yeah. different? Uh, Mark, go on. I, I mean... It's, it's different because he's, he's surrounded by protection any, anyway, but it also would send an incredibly positive message to all our enemies that we are willing and so serious about the conflict that we're willing to sacrifice our second in line to the throne. Is it a general feeling in the armed forces that he should go if he wants to go at I, higher level? I, 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 I think if, if, if the circumstances were right, yes, I, I think that's, that's right. And that's an entitlement of every member of the armed forces. They, How they did they do, do it then? When, when, when Prince Harry went, they kept that a secret, didn't they? They tried. Well, they tried, yes. but you do have this well, problem also, Jan. I'll just briefly bring Janet here on, and he'd love to be brief, Janet, in reply. About the press, can the press be trusted to let Prince William go out there without reporting his every move? No. I think so. I think so. Mark, you don't think so? No, but the really important... Rubbish. The really... <laughs> no, I don't think they will. But the really important here, thing here is, which none of us should do, is never confuse use the fantastic men and women of the armed forces mm. with, with the, the politics or the rights and wrongs of the war. And he is a serving member of the armed forces and he wants to do the right thing and stand by his comrades in the war they're engaged and in. He wants and they didn't decide leader, on it. Doesn't he? And he is a leader. Well, yes. you don't have to go to Afghanistan to be seen to be a leader, I'm afraid. Well, hopefully we can find people who can do it on both sides um, of the, the channel, this and far away in Afghanistan. My thanks to Janet, to Mark and to Gloria. Thank you. Coming up, an exclusive performance from Sir Cliff Richard and the question of sport team captains Phil Tufnell and Matt Dawson reveal why they're taking the show on the road. We'll be back soon.